tempering and mass working, the two mechanics that are supposed to save Diablo 4. And the base mechanic is actually fantastic, but also has the one or the other problem. Let's focus on the good things first and then roll out what still needs to improve to truly shut up the Diablo 4 bad folks. Every piece of ancestral gear has three FXs now, but with the new tempering, we can be adding two more. We go to the blacksmith, put the item in, and now it gives us the offensive tempering. Here, we could choose the Shadow Finesse. We want to increase our corpse explosion damage, which for some reason is under Shadow Finesse. We'll talk about that in the problem section. Then you press Temper and you get Darkness damage. Because it is random, you have these recipes, there's a chance of one out of four to get it. Now I could keep tempering. The first one is for free. The next one costs one Temper durability. So I only have five tries trying to get this now. That is four left, and I can keep on keeping on until I get Corpse Explosion. Now I get the first Temper step done, and I go for the second one. I want my Skeletal Mages to cast twice or minion attack speed. Let's see if I can pull this off. Yes, Skeletal Mages to cast twice. That is my five affix item now, which brings us to Master Working. In Master Working, you have 12 levels. Every level increases the stats by 5%, including the Tempered Affixes. We have 18.5% for a double cast, and now with the increase, we're suddenly at 19.4%. The materials for the tempering are coming from the new pit, the time dungeon that you have to play through, 200 levels in total, and you'll get a lot of materials. Now we can upgrade to level two and to level three. After level three or every four levels, something cool happens and one random affix will get a 25% increase. Currently, I already brought my 18.5 to 21.3%. And everything else went up as well. If I now master work another time, my corpse explosion damage in blue now did get a hyper boost. And now we came to the first problem, the success chance. Because from rank 4 to 8, you're not having 100% anymore. We're at 70%. So this might work, or this might actually not work. Lucky me, done. Now it's down to 60%. And we try again. Fantastic. 50% done super good i'm actually getting lucky here we're flying through the ranks and lastly we're going then to plus eight to nine or 12 and we're suddenly down to 30 percent chance yep so we have two tempered affixes now we're down to the 30 percent chance that's a failed and then it goes up by 10 percent and a failed and it goes up by 10 percent and you're going to be sitting here now and you're going to be tempering. That's 20% chance. Yep. And we're trying to essentially master work through. It's a bit of a bummer because it's a lot of clicks. And the thing is, if you're not hitting the right stuff. So I wanted my skeleton mages to go up, but it's random. I can reset the master work, but you have to redo everything again with a chance of success. And the biggest problem is the time simply lost here at the blacksmith. Because tempering one item fully up can take you just 5 to 10 minutes of jamming this button, trying to get it upwards, depending on how much you fail. Then you reset because it wasn't perfect and you have to do it again and reset and have to do it again. My suggestion would be just up the crafting material. Because right now I have 40,000 Neath Iron. Yes. And the Neath Iron can be downgraded into Ingolith and Opticide. So I have infinite materials right now to 30 to 40 times masterwork every single item. I'm not doing it because I'm simply spending too much time trying to get this somehow done. And it's just a nuisance of somewhere trying to hit this success chance, success chance, success chance. Why not make it just more expensive? Four times as expensive and you could at least master work 100%. So it's 12 clicks for me to go through and then I get the item. If I don't like it, I reset. I lose a lot of material because I reset it since the materials are then lost. But at least I'm not losing my time because my time is precious and the game should value it. And if I want to spend time in the game, it's going to be actually playing the game and not waiting for a masterwork to fail. A second thing is the temper recipes itself, because the temper recipes right now range from three things in one to two options or four options. That's a bit of a scam because the Shadow Augment says chance for Severed to cast twice. Okay, it's a 50-50 chance. That's going to be easy. But for the Bone Augment, I have four options. That's a little bit stupid, right? 
why is Shadow having it so much better than Bone? And if I go for summoning, well, it's one out of three, which is okay. And if you're then going back to the offensive ones, we talked about it. Why is Corpse Explosion under Shadow? Because we have three Shadow things that we want and one Corpse thing that makes absolutely no sense. So I have to have the luck of a one out of four chance where nothing is good. Where the summoning finesse has a two out of three because two options are good. The third one is if you don't play the golem, questionable. And if we're going for bone again, there's three good options that will boost your damage. And the fourth one is eh. Which brings me then to utility, where we essentially have three curse stuff. Iron Maiden size to crepify and curse duration. And then there's two corpse things. Corpse explosion size and corpse tunnels. What are they doing under the curse stuff in the utility tab. Some temper recipes need to really be split in two because if your chance is only one single one out of four with the Shadow Finesse, that's horrible. But if your chance is two out of four or even three out of four being good, you're not that mad at failing the first tempering. With the defensive one, for example, there's maximum life and total armor. Both are decent. The dodge chance is meh, but you have a chance of two out of three to get a good thing. The interesting part about tempering and masterworking is they kind of made uniques useless to a degree. This is my Ring of Mendelon, which gives me the 24,000 cool damage explosions. But if I actually choose to take another ring into the tempering, I can go for the offensive tab and I can give my corpse explosion a huge amount of damage. I can give my skeleton mages a huge amount of damage. And I can also make my resources be way more efficient instead. On the other hand, some uniques are going completely crazy. Not only can they be Masterwork, yes, this is a 12 times Masterwork Black River, which makes the Corpse Guilds go from two to ultimately five possible Corpse Guilds. I can get the Hued Flesh up, the Fueled by Death, the Intelligence, so it can get way bigger. And not only that, they can have greater affixes too. Greater affixes are random on items. Here's a Deathless Visage that has a higher damage reduction than it would be possible. 10.7% versus the 7.3% max, or 23 maximum essence versus a 15 max. And then on top, you can masterwork these greater affixes. So if you get bonus corpse skills, so you can get a maximum of bonus corpse skills here and then masterwork that up to plus seven or eight sometimes, especially if the 25% every fourth step actually hits right in the spot. But if we're looking at the health from below, for example, which gives us this 40x corpse explosion damage and the rest of the stats like the attack speed and the lucky hit chance are relatively low, especially since normal gloves can give you up to 80% critical strike damage. Uh, what? Yes. Plus then the double tempering of corpse explosion damage and corpse tendril size, which makes normal items just so fantastic and puts unique items really on the back foot. That is a big plus to the tempering system and you can make builds more unique. I can make a complete shadow damage over time build to really boost the key passes of the shadow necro or the corpse explosion build we talked about. And if I feel completely funny, we could even buff the bone spirit damage by another plus 400%. This gets simply overshadowed though by the chance to actually fail. Now I'm just trying to essentially master work this up to plus 12. And I'm, yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm wasting my time. Time I want to find new items. Time I want to play the game. Time I want to do something. And I'm sitting here recording the video for you and failing my masterwork time and time again. Now we get up the chance for skeleton mages, the corpse explosion, the damage. That's actually good. But if I'm looking at my current one, I only get the critical strike chance up and I actually wanted to have the skeleton mage chance here too. So I would reset the master working and simply try again. I would probably do this four times if I wouldn't just spend so much time in the middle. Now I get the maximum life up. Don't like this, reset. For the first four ranks, this is okay. But then now we're beginning again with a masterwork failed. Masterwork success. Congratulations. Uh, masterwork success. I like it. Then masterwork failed. Remove the chance. Make it more expensive because I would have this gameplay wise in my hands. I could sit down to farm the pid to do all the 200 tiers really quick to get all the materials in the world. And then I can masterwork to my heart's desire but I really don't have to have my time wasted by the game. Diablo, please, 
please respect my time. I don't have much of those. I have a family and kids. The system in itself and its base is nice, and it's quite creating some absolute amazing power creep items that could be of the charts. But isn't that what you want? You want to have the ability to do some mental things if you already get greater affixes and everything together and then masterwork that to the tippity top and become an absolute god. What do you think about the temper masterwork system and do you like the success chance or not? If you now would like to see the new leveling or endgame loop, there are two videos that kind of wrap this up together for you to give you the full breadth of information. Thank you for watching.